Meet the Playwright is sponsored by Nick Hearn Books, theatre publishers and performing rights agents. Joining me now is Amanda Whittington, whose plays have been licensed an impressive 54 times over the past year. So, Amanda, welcome to Stage Talk. Thank you. Now, Be My Baby has obviously been a huge success for you. Tell us more about it. Well, Be My Baby is set in 1964 in an unmarried mother and baby home, and it's based on all those true but often very hidden stories about young women who became pregnant in their late teens and early 20s and weren't married. And of course, in the 60s, that was a big um, social disgrace, so they were shipped off to the countryside, uh, made to sort of live out their pregnancy in, in these homes and work in laundries and scrub the floors. And, and when it was time, they had the babies, and the babies were given up for adoption, really, whether they liked it or not. But also, it's there's people are quite surprised it's got a lot of fun and laughter in it and lightness because of course I felt that if, if a bunch of young women were put together in that situation there would be friendships, there would be all sorts of kind of positive things come out of that as well. So I think that's why Be My Baby works and it also, it's got a, a, a great 1960s soundtrack of all those girl group records so mm. that immediately not only creates the era but kind of gives it a real joyfulness as well. And you've written two plays about four women from Hull, Ladies Day and Ladies Down Under. And it's quite unusual to have sequels in theatre, isn't it? So how did that come about? Well, it, it wasn't planned, actually. We, um, I wrote Ladies' Day for Whole Truck Theatre, which is a company that I'd worked at uh, previously. And we felt that it would be great, because Royal Ascot was going to York that particular year, it would be great to set a play around Ladies' Day and have some real sort of, you know, whole women from the fish factory going to Royal Ascot. And, and that was the, the premise of the play. And it went down really well with audiences in Hull. And then it toured. And and it was because I think it's because it's about four, you know, four very recognisable, strong female characters um, that really that really struck a chord with the audience. And at the end of the play, without giving too much away, it sort of feels like the beginning of a new chapter in their lives. So um, I felt that there was still much we wanted to we wanted to know what happened to those characters really. So really, it was based on the success of Ladies' Day and the the relationships we had as a company of, of actors, writer, and director, and just all of us kind of wanting to do it again. Really, we had such a great time, and the audience had such a great time. We didn't want to leave it there. Now your trademark is writing strong roles for women. Do you think there's a lack of those roles today? I think there's a tremendous lack of them and I think it's, you know, more women are involved in amateur theatre companies than men. The evidence is that women buy theatre tickets and take their husbands or their boyfriends or their mates. Mm -hmm. So it, it is a very female world theatre, but for some reason that's not reflected on stage. We need to you know, have women playing and watching their own lives. And so that's, you know, I very deliberately do that now. And there's so many brilliant stories to tell. I mean, why not? Now, I mentioned earlier that your plays have been licensed 54 times to amateur companies over the past year, and you've got two professional versions of your shows on stage at the moment. Tell us more about them. Yes, I'm very fortunate to have two running at the moment. Uh, Oldham Coliseum have done Satin and Steel, which is a two-hander set in the world of uh, the working men's clubs in the north, and it t tells the story of Vince Steel and Tina Satin as they kind of try and break out of this world and become stars. And uh, Be My Baby, which we've talked about, is, is on at uh, Derby Theatre. I've got a boyfriend. Buy you all them love songs, did he? He likes to surprise me. We can say that again. I've got all her 45s, Dusty Springfield. I hope they won't put one out while I'm in here. Could have been me this. Top of the hit parade. Can you sing? Met a bloke who said I got what it takes. Then what I got, he took. I'm Queenie. Are we allowed? No. But what about Matron? You're not scared of the early cow, are you? She might come up. So what if she does? I don't want to get into trouble. Bit late for that, Doc. Yes, you know, I'm, I'm very fortunate in my plays do get repeat productions and the amateur market is a, is a really big side of that. But also it's great when, when the reps do them as well because it kind of puts them in the spotlight a bit again. Mm. Yes. So do you have any tips for people performing your plays? I think the, the, really it's to, sort of to trust the text and tr trust the script and, and uh, all the answers are there in, in the text or the subtext um, about your characters and the journeys your characters take. 
you know, sometimes, particularly with students, write and say, um, ask me questions about the characters, and I always try and put it back onto them and say, you know, it's, it's for you to discover as an actor, and you own the character, and you make your own interpretation of that character, and use the script as your raw material, and use the script as the place where you find the answers, but also bring something of yourself to it as well. And tell us about the Facebook page that you've recently set up. Be My Baby is, is a GCSE and A-level theatre studies set text and I was getting lots of emails from students asking me questions about the play um, and I thought well no, actually don't, let's get you talking to each other rather than talking to me so I set up a Facebook page I think students can then find out what each other are doing in their productions they ask about costumes and sets and it's great so it's a kind of really kind of vibrant um, evolving community of young actors talking about the play and I think that's a very unusual thing and if I'd have had that when I was doing theatre studies at school I would have loved it so I'm very happy to have you know very little effort for me to have set that up but actually it, it, it works beautifully.